Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Daniel. This is morning tea. How's everybody doing? Let's take that first sip. Cheers. Mm. Beautiful. It's Taco Tuesday. And uh, although I had told myself that I was not going to go do Taco Tuesday today, I was going to cook at home. I'm breaking down and I'm taking my friend Eric to lunch. So uh, <laughs> it will be a Taco Tuesday at Laguna Feast. So if you are around by 11 o'clock in Laguna Beach, come over and have tacos with us. We'd love to have you at our table. It would be a pleasure. So let's get this started. I'm sorry I'm a little late this morning, but um, I just felt like being lazy again today. I had a lazy Monday yesterday. If you've never had a lazy Monday, it's the best. You eat all the leftovers in your fridge. You don't shower. And you just lay around the couch all day. Perfect dude day. It's a dude day. Anyway, so let's get started. Let it flow. Tears. Oh, I can already, already see this is going to be emotional, isn't it? How wonderful it is. I'm sorry. How wonderful it feels to give in and let tears flow. When we are overwhelmed with emotions, whether we are happy or sad, tears come from the soul, from our will of, of feelings rising from deep down. When we give in to prickling behind our eyes, and we're lumping our throat to let teardrops fall from our eyes, we allow our feelings to surface so they can be set free. Proud parents shed tears of pride in a child's accomplishments, a baby first step, birthdays and graduations. Long lost friends fall into each other's arms, tears rolling down their cheeks when they reunite after years of separation. Tears may flow from us when we are witness to a commitment being made at a wedding or even while we are watching a love story. Tears of relief may spring forth from our eyes when we hear that a loved one has survived an ordeal, and tears may fall when we bow our head in sorrow over a loss or a death. Tears born from a headache can flow like they'll never cease. I'm sorry, tears born from a heartache can flow like they'll never cease. Whether our tears are for a love that is over, a friendship lost, or an opportunity missed, we shed tears because of disappointment in ourselves. Tragedy in the world, pain and illness. Tears of anger can burn with emotion as they fall down our faces. Tears offer us a physical release of our feelings. Shedding tears can sometimes make us feel better, although it can feel like the tears will never end once the floodgates are open. There's no shame in letting tears flow freely and frequently. Tears are as natural to us as breathing. There is beauty in allowing yourself to be vulnerable enough to shed tears. Open up, release your tears, and let your feelings flow. That's just the important part. Open up, release your tears, and let the feelings flow. Um, for those that know me, I'm a crier. I will cry. Um, if I'm not feeling well, if I have these emotions running through me, um, I am not ashamed to cry at the movies. I will cry if I have to. I believe in letting that out of my system. I need, my body needs that mourning process or that moment of happiness to cry over. And um, my apartment is just so charged with energy sometimes that it just hits me and it just makes me want to cry. Um, movies, shows, uh, sometimes seeing the picture of my mother makes me cry. Uh, but I'm not going to cry today. It's, it's a good day. Uh, so definitely, I, I, I tell a lot of my friends that are going through situations, allow yourself to cry. Give yourself permission to, to cry. Uh, it's okay. It doesn't make you any weaker. It doesn't make you any less of a person. It just lets you release that stress and or that happiness and lets you move on from there. It's just a stepping stone, guys. That's all it is. So let's pick a card. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. This is from Haniel. See how pretty that is? Passion. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. What's going on? Are you dating somebody new? Are you uh, starting a new career? Did you just promote it? Um, what about that hobby that you've been make, picking at? Uh, you've been picking at a hobby, and uh, you thought that maybe that hobby could pay the bills. I think it's. Uh, I think you could do it. I really believe you can. And you are one of a kind. 
So it's time to follow your passion. Uh, trust and follow your new passion, your career, because you're one of a kind. Whatever it is you're doing, you're that one person. You're the one that can do it great. So uh, make sure you do it. Um, today I want to say thank you uh, to uh, a request that I got to bring. I posted on my my uh, morning tea videos on a website, and then I stopped for some reason and just didn't go back. And I got a request from them yesterday to uh, come back and post my videos again. So to the guys of uh, Rich Entertainment, thank you for that email. Uh, it really made my day. Thank you for uh, sending me that message. And here I am. It is uh, Taco Tuesday. So you guys there at the office have a Taco Tuesday. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys. Um, so so, so I, I guess uh, my shout out and my uh, grateful for is um, I'm grateful that people are, are watching Morning Tea and that you guys are enjoying it. And, and I hope you get as much out of it or, or some of it like I do because I, I walk away every morning with, with something uh, having grown a little more. I, I grow a little every day and it, it doesn't have to be big chunks. It doesn't have to be big steps. Little by little, you know, drop by drop the jar will fill. So, um, and that's how my heart is. Uh, with every morning tea video that I do, I fill up a little more. So. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. Feel free to comment on anything. Um, positive, negative, uh, criticism, constructive criticism. I'm open to it. Um, I do this not just for me, but for you guys. So if something just doesn't look good, doesn't work, I will change it. And um, love you guys. Enjoy your tea. Enjoy your coffee. And I will see you tomorrow.